Hi, we're getting live from uh, Tokyo. Uh, we just had a level six uh, earthquake happen in Shizuoka, which is uh, just uh, uh, west of here. And um, we kind of felt it for the last few minutes here in Tokyo. So I just wanted to update everybody about what's been happening. Uh, there's kind of two schools of thought. And uh, the first one is get out of Dodge. Um, the reason is people are just really scared about what's going on and they worried about these reactors and there was another fourth uh, fire today at one of the reactors in uh, Fukushima and um, there was talk of radiation leakage and there was some so we were kind of warned in Japanese uh, with people translating they told me it's basically stay inside um, don't go outside if you have to wear glass sunglasses and a, a mask um, but um, yeah, it's pretty much uh, kind of a little bit of ghost town in the daytime. Most people have uh, gone west if they can, or they've been at work now, believe it or not. All the stuff that's been going on in uh, Tokyo, people are actually still going to work. And one of my ideas, or the reasons uh, it has to be uh, like this, is people want to keep the status quo, keep people busy. Unfortunately, it might be with the possibility of radiation leaks, so that's kind of on people's heads. But I noticed in the daytime, the people out were mostly like uh, people who have taken time off or their housewives or just people aren't going to work. And then at nighttime, people weren't wearing masks as much. Um, and uh, they seemed to be f a lot fewer. People are coming from work and feeling, if I've been at work all day, how can there be problems? And the attitude is like that for those two different shift in uh, ideas. But yeah, um, first I had a Japanese person advise me I should probably go back to my home country. And, um, and recently uh, foreigners have been asking and people back home in Canada have been asking me to go back. Um, just right now I can lend a help, uh, a help in hand for people that are uh, you know, trying to find websites. Um, I helped somebody book a flight back uh, to the US, which is cool. And I was able to find a discount carrier. Um, I've been able to find websites on what to do in earthquakes. Um, right now, people are just finding out about putting iodine. Um, apparently, it reduces the chance of radiation exposure in the thyroid gland, which is kind of cool to know. So there's a lot of things going on uh, with information. Um, uh, foreigners, what we're doing is kind of emailing each other um, the translated versions of things that are coming out in the news. There hasn't been too much negative stuff like, um, you know, scams or anything like send money. But, you know, um, a lot of things that we're hearing is uh, send money to the Red Cross, which is cool. And we're hearing good positive reports. And today, again, more positive reports. Um, um, Seven-year-old woman was uh, found um, 94 hours after the first earthquake, and she survived. And I think that talks about the fighting spirit of the Japanese. And then another 2,000 people were rescued in Miyagi, which is really cool. And that was like an epicenter of, uh, you know, some of the earthquakes. So it's really cool. So a lot of positive things are coming out. But at the same time, people are booking flights, um, you know, saying, see you later. I mean, possibility of radiation leak isn't somebody something that people want. But, you know, the people that are staying here are trying to take precautions and just trying to do our best. So... Again, this is on March 15th, and just kind of an update of what's going on here in, uh, in Japan. Okay.